I'm Carlos. And I'm Will. And we are the Beans and Dice Podcast, a podcast about how we game. In today's episode, we're going to talk about Iron Clay's luxury game counters. Mmm. They look nice. You're listening to the Beans and Dice Podcast, a podcast about how we game. Welcome back, folks. We're going to talk today about the Iron Clay shipment that I got in. These are uh, luxury game counters by Roxley Game, uh, the Roxley Game Company. And Will, uh, you get to crack that one open. Oh, yeah. I know I already opened this one up because yeah. I couldn't wait. Uh, I had not seen these yet. I gotta, I gotta look to see what these are. Yeah, I, I had purchased these because I was looking at getting a. Let me get my top-down view here going. Getting a set of metal tokens for a game, and I realized that that game is so specific in theme, uh, Shogun, Yes. that I would never be able to use those tokens anywhere else. And that's what really got me into the idea of buying these chips. Open them up here, we'll get you on camera. All right, so um, first thing I notice here is that beautiful cardboard printed boxes. Is, uh, yeah, it looks, like, it looks like it's from like the old Western style mm -hmm. printing on here. Uh, it's got a magnetic case. Uh -huh, you um, saw that? Yeah, I like that. The, the clack. And then... Here's the clack of the magnets. Yes, I, lo I love that as well. Um, good cardboard. I think it'll last quite a bit. Um, that one, it seems like you already took the cardboard inside. Or insert yeah, out. there's a little insert on the cardboard, but yeah. and then you got a little drawstring to get this out. All right, well let's uh, let's toss this cardboard away. What you end quick. up getting here is this nice hard plastic case, so you can see. You know, show them the sides of it. You can see the. Uh, the, the case all the way around, nice thick plastic case, grabbing, inlaid I'm on the top. It from here. Oh, that's scary. Oh, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You want to see? You want to showcase this? It looks great. I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Is uh, fall here. <laughs> so you can see the iron clays inlaid in here as well on the on the top of the plastic. Mm -hmm. um, I've already opened up all of these tokens, so if you, I'll trade you. You can play with these since I've unwrapped them, but they do come individually sealed. So you can see they come individually sealed as stacks of 20, I believe, for each of the denominations. And of course, you know, you must do the always important. Yeah, the riffle shuffle. Of course. Now, I don't have the dexterity skill to do anything beyond this, but uh, I mean. But that, that, that nice weighted yes. sound. I mean, if you look. I mean, here, if you look at the printed... Yeah, let's get to the let's look macro the, cam. I'll get this thing going here. Yeah, look at the printing on that. On the on the, on that as well. Let's it looks great. Real, look at this. It's it's printed in multiple layers of, of colored plastic. So that's not paint. That's like embedded plastic all the way around the perimeter. And then it's got the denomination in the center. Each one of these, the, the perimeter... Uh, Paisley almost, I'm, I'm not sure what to call that, but is different. Mm -hmm. Like it's not exactly the same. So this, you'll see this 20, the the design style on that 20 is gonna be a hair different. Uh, looks like you get uh, about 10 in 10 counts, 10 in the 100 count, and 20 in the 20 count. And 40 in the ones and another stack of 20s in the fives. Yep, so you get denominations of 1, 5, 10, 20, and 100. Uh, but it's, it's, I believe it's like 40 of the ones, mm -hmm. 20 of the fives, and then you're going to get 10 and 10 of the, okay. of the 10 and 20, uh, 10 and 100. Uh, of the 100 as well. Yep. Which I don't know what game you will ever use this for, but it's still nice to have. Uh, I bought two boxes just in case because <laughs> I want to be able to play it with any uh, like a Euro game that has higher denominations like uh, Power Grid. A oh, lot yes. Of money involved yes. Power okay, Grid. there you go. Brass Birmingham. There's mm -hmm. a lot of tokens involved or money involved in Brass Birmingham. Um, so I decided to buy two of these boxes. They also sell kits that you can pick up that help fill in for Euro games. I have two of those on order. No, but they, I mean, this product is just, it's no, a beautiful again, product. I'm <laughs> Try, trying to shuffle them. Trying, in. yes. So you can see, I mean, it's just, it just makes for a, a nice counter, nice feel. Uh, there's an, 
from what I understand, a metal insert inside there to give it that weight. This has got some weight to it too. Right. It's, I mean, even, even the box that holds it, look at this box, you know, the box alone. I'm, I'm going to get into this artwork here on this box so you folks can see that. Let's get into this camera. We'll get the zoom just right. You can really start to see the, the quality of the print on this product. You know, that's just the box itself. You know, look at the, the, the gold foil on the front, the mechanism for the clasp. You know, it's just, then you got this beautiful ribbon that comes in here, which allows you to, because these, these are heavy. These, oh, they're, 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 uh, they're great. Um, so when you need to take the, game, the, the chips out of the box, this here allows you, this ribbon allows you just to give a little tug and boom, you've got access to your chips without having to put pressure on the box itself. I mean, they really thought of everything in this set. It's just gorgeous. Which, I mean, I think the box will definitely last. I mean, it's more of a showcase piece, but. It is, this is like, um, you know, it's kind of a show off piece. Yeah, it is, it, it is. It's very, it's, yeah, it looks, it looks a little great. I mean, I'm jealous, I want, I want one. They're out now uh, on retail, so you can find them uh, online. These are about uh, 40 bucks per. So when you think about purchasing metal coins, I mean, this is right in line with that. So to me, I think this was totally worth it. Well, it's multi-purpose. Doesn't matter the game. Most, multi right. most metal coins are two specific titles of the game. And, and this artwork, I mean, this, this aesthetic here of this, the aesthetic alone, it just makes it so that it could be for any game. You know, you really look at this and, and you can use this for any style of game because it it just it's not specific to anything. It's just generic enough. So very nice components. Hope you enjoyed that. So that is the Roxley Company, their Iron Clay's luxury game counters i hope you enjoyed that uh, don't forget to like and subscribe oh, i'm yes. carlos and i'm will and we are the beans and ice podcast a podcast about how, how we, we game. game see you on the next one folks take care thanks for watching the beans and dice podcast don't forget to like and subscribe